you in class. Uh, today, uh, I would like to ask you a few things with regard to our likes and dislikes and eating habits. Okay, so all of us enjoy um, lots of things, isn't it? We like good things as well as not so good things. Good things means healthy food and uh, not so good things junk food okay isn't it and uh, probably most most of the young ones will like the junk food isn't it and uh, which is not so good for our health okay so um in this lesson today being healthy being healthy what how are we going to be healthy okay how what can we do in order to be healthy all right so we'll see here not the process of being you know, healthy but the cause and effect of overeating of both healthy and unhealthy foods in this chapter okay there are two characters uh, two characters we will see in this chapter um one who is overeating everything of whatever he gets and the other side we will see um, a family okay a family comprised of four members who are conscious of their health and have healthy cooked food okay so we are going to see in this chapter uh, being healthy so see healthy food Healthy food, we call it the cooked food we uh, cook at home, we bring, we buy from the market or cultivate in our uh, kitchen garden and most of the things we buy from the shop, okay, the malls, isn't it? The food items we will buy and we raw we buy we bring and we cook and we eat we clean them isn't it so whatever is cooked at home that is uh, and may made okay and uh, deliciously being prepared so that is homemade okay and the other item we find in the packets okay or uh, in different uh, containers okay packed and processed foods those are junk food all right so we eat both of these okay so but we have to have the balance in it okay so this is not so good for us the junk food okay it creates um, a lot of illnesses in us okay because it has a lot of the chemicals okay the artificial coloring all, all sorts of processing while doing the processing or while keeping in the uh, storing things you know what kind of chemicals are being used okay so we need to be very careful about it we do eat some sometimes in the party or while going out or sometimes but we need to be careful about it okay we need to know why we should not eat all right and then uh, homemade food is always welcomed okay but since the food is always welcomed, we should not be overeating, okay? Overeating means what? Having all, you know, whatever we get, the, the, the mouth, the body is saying no, but my desire is saying yes, more, some more, it's not enough, more and more and more. And what happens finally? We bloat, we bloat, our tummy becomes so big, okay? And it will be very difficult for us to walk or move isn't it now in this chapter mr Udi nudi so mr Udi nudi who is okay who is a puppet okay a puppet a kind of toy but it looks he it this has a magical power so it can come to life it can come to life, become boy, okay? And whatever it touches, it becomes so magical, okay? So if he wants to eat, he can 
If he wants to go somewhere, he can. Okay? So when somebody has a magical power, can do anything he wishes to. Alright? So this is what the Miss uh, Mr. Pudding Nudi was. Okay? The name itself says Pudding means eating too much. Pudding. Okay? Food, eating, eating and eating. Pudding. Okay? Pudding Nudi, his name is. Alright? He overeats all kinds of food, both homemade and junk food. Whatever he gets, he eats. Okay? He not only eats, he over it. Okay? And one day it so happened that he wants to go around. Okay? Now see, that was a magical day for him. He wanted to uh, eat something. He wanted to go around and he wanted to enjoy. Okay? While walking, he come across a, a garden. Okay? Orchard. It's just full of ripe apples. And he goes and climbs on the trees and he plucks one and he it's like that. Okay, he gobbles like that. And then the the apple is making is he crying, hey, you eat like other creatures. You crunch it, you munch it, and you enjoy the fruit. Why you are eating so oh, roughly like that? Okay, the sound that you are making. It's so painful. The apple says, eat, but eat how? Slowly, crunch it, munch it, chew it, and then, and then enjoy it. Okay, enjoy the taste of it. Relish the taste of the apple. The apple says, see, you are just simply biting and biting and biting, making a lot, you love big sound and then you know it's so irritating okay so the apple gives him a lesson and he doesn't it not you know only why he gets but plenty of apple before he leaves that garden all right he blocks one and eats and maybe he eats only half and he throws and the other see he's eating and eating and eating and he's even wasting all right and he is full now he's already bloated Okay, the thing has come up to you. Still, he is not satisfied because he's a good eater. Okay, then now see, he is okay. He went to the garden, okay, and he ate the apple. Okay, not only one, but many apples before he left that. And while he was walking and on the way, he enters into one house, okay, where he finds this is. Whistle cooking something. Okay, now here Mrs. Whistle has a family. It has, a, you know, the the family has father. Of course, mother is Mrs. Whistle, and two little kettles children. All right. So one is kettle, big kettle. Okay, and you know the kettle, electric kettle has a whistle, no? Okay, whenever it is boiled, it makes a sound. Okay, and then cooker. Have you have you noticed a cooker? It also whistles when it, the food is being cooked inside. Okay, so it also whistles. And the other two children were also small, small kettles. Okay, and then and then they also whistle. So the the family itself is called whistle family. Mister and Missus whistle. Family. All right, you can see in your text. Okay, so here, Mr. Mrs. Whistle's family, they are very careful with regard to their food habits. See, they eat only cooked food, they eat healthy food, you know. The, and then the, the items that they have in the food is like, see, vegetables, all kinds of vegetables. Okay. Cabbage, cauliflower, capsicum, okay, tomatoes, uh, beans, all sorts of vegetables. Okay, so they prepare, see, they soup. Okay, nice vegetables, it is it? So yummy it is. Okay, and then they also put dal, and then curries with vegetables. Okay, and then they enjoy. Okay, so they enjoy cooked food. They enjoy. Healthy food. Whereas in comparison, if you see, Mr. Pudinuti, he eats all kinds of things. He doesn't bother about 
cooked, uncooked, right, unripe, okay? Enough satisfaction that is not in him, okay? So here, Mrs. Whistle's family, okay, is very, very careful with regard to your eating habit. That's why they are slim and trim, okay? Whereas, you can see Mr. Fuji Nudi is plumpium, okay? It's a big hair, big tummy, overweight, obese, okay? So, when we eat too much and we do not have a kind of limit for eating, whether it is homemade, whether it is junk food, okay? When you do not have that, uh, you know, that willingness of saying, oh, it's enough for me, no, I'm full. If that is not in us, and we eat and eat, okay? We eat and eat, and we become obese like Mr. Fuji Nudi. So, which we should not be. All right. So, here we can learn from this too, which is good for us, which is good for us in order to remain healthy, healthy food, okay? And if we want to be obese, eat too much, overweight, and be bloaty and then vomit after a few, okay, after eating too much, okay? We are uncomfortable while walking also to move around, okay? We won't be fast, we won't be agile. So, if we don't want all those, we need healthy food, not junk food, and of the limit, okay? Just the limit we need to eat, okay? So, now, overeating causes obesity, okay? Obesity means to get fat, uh, fat day by day, okay? Not to grow taller and taller, but fatter and fatter, sideways we grow, okay? So, obesity, all right? So, which we should avoid because it, again, creates other illnesses in us when we are obese because obese people won't move much and when we move more much our muscles are not exercised body is not exercised and we become dull okay so we should not go for overeating eating all sorts of food okay without limit especially hungry for junk food we become obese obesity okay that's the you know, the state is obesity, but we become obese. Okay, so we we should avoid. All right, remember, remember this overeating. Overeating causes causes what bloatedness. Okay, and then our body bulks. We feel that it is going bigger and bigger. Okay, and then we feel giddy, and then giddy. And then after giddy, what happens? We feel like peeling. Okay, this is what it, this uh, fertility did. Okay, it ate apples, lots of apples, and then after that, he visited Mrs. Whistle's family, ate the soup that they had prepared because they offered the soup they had prepared. Okay, the food that they had prepared in the in their. Um, house with vegetables okay and they ate the food whatever was being given to and we ate lot okay and then while coming out okay while returning to his house he also ate the junk food okay lots of chips okay nuts and chips and maybe hamburger and okay with all sorts of okay french fry and all those things he must have eaten on the way Okay, and then it caused so uneasiness in him. Okay, it was so disgusting. Okay, he was feeling uncomfortable. And then he decided, no way. No way now. I'm not going to overeat now. I'll set a limit to my eating. He makes up his mind. All right, that's a good thing for him. Okay, he did make a mistake of what? Being greedy and eating and eating and eating lots of things. Okay, whatever he saw, he could not say no. He wanted more and more. Okay, 
that created in him what? Obesity. And then what happened? He himself became disgusted. He did not like himself. Okay? And then he decided, no, it should not go on any longer. He decided. And then what happened? He wanted to become, he wanted to become but slim and trim like Mrs. and Mr. White and their children baby, isn't it? Okay? So he wanted to become healthy. Okay? So remember, while eating it, while eating it, don't gobble. Okay? So sometimes, uh, uh, you know, if there are too many poppies at home or too many, you know, the chickens you have seen or, you know, some, some, you know, some animals or birds you have, you have at home and you give in a group, what happens? They try to, you know, eat too fast and much. Okay, but we, we should not be, as human beings, we should not be like that. Okay, we have to have limit. And while eating, what we have to do, we have to chew it properly, eat slowly, okay? And that chewing food only will get digested properly, all right? Otherwise, we, it, it, if we gobble, okay, if we swallow food, okay, because we want to eat more, so uh, chewing will take time. So what happens? Uh, it, it takes times uh, the other time then what happens we will eat less no so in the limited time we want to eat more and then we get sick because it doesn't get consistent all right so while eating eat that means eating time eat slowly chew food okay so that will give you a healthy body and healthy body means healthy mind okay while eating eat okay so remember while eating eat slowly i tell yourself i am eating my food okay this fruit drinking water or milk okay or some soft you know the milk okay with chocolate or whatever understood so while eating eat Okay, be aware of your, uh, the work that you are doing. While eating, we are eating. So, you need to be conscious of that and take time and eat. Okay? So, chew, crunch, munch and enjoy the food. Okay, children? So, finally, what we can conclude is, from here, while eating, we need to remember, we need to chew properly, Okay, crunch the food properly, munch and enjoy the savor, the taste of the food. Okay, and there should be limit. Okay, well, when we eat, what we like, we eat more, what we don't like, we don't even touch or we eat little. No, there should not be like that. We have to have a limit, balance of everything. Okay, what we like also, what we dislike also, we put and we eat. Okay, so. If we, if we make that habit, it will be good for us, okay? It's not only when we like things and we eat too much, no. Okay, so there should be limit uh, while we eat also. And remember that it's always healthy to eat, to eat homemade, cooked food, okay? Then it, it choosing to eat junk food, okay? Or uh, asking parents to bring pizza or uh, burger or french fry or uh, fried rice from uh, KFCs. No, no, all those are junk food. So, what your uh, family prepares at home that has uh, much of love with love and concern that is being prepared. Okay, so we need to um, be thankful to whoever has prepared that one and savor that okay eat that gratefully that's all. okay so it's always good for our health and we create health okay we become sick and unhealthy and obese if we eat too much okay so please so avoid all right children so i'm sure that um, in coming days from today onwards
each what eating okay be conscious of eating and eat in limit so that we grow healthy in mind and in our body okay, children that's all the day have a good day enjoy your food of course okay and stay healthy take care bye bye see you in the next class